Melodyne plugin, how to create a bass guitar track using audio to MIDI capabilities. Here we'll take a look at how to create a bass guitar track using Melodyne's audio to MIDI from an alternate audio source. Audio to MIDI is a groundbreaking application, providing users with more creative freedom and choices in their productions. Let's check it out. Here I've opened a demo session file in Pro Tools. Let's take a listen. Okay, we've got drums, acoustic guitar, and electric guitar, but no bass guitar. What I'm going to do here is solo the acoustic guitar performance, and let's take a listen to it. Okay, what we'll do now is insert Melodyne on that track and convert it to MIDI data. Then we'll import that MIDI data and we'll edit it, thus creating a bass guitar performance from this original acoustic guitar. So here in our first insert slot, what I'll do now is insert Melodyne Mono. There we go. And the plugin window will open. Now what we're going to do in order to create our audio to MIDI conversion is transfer the acoustic guitar performance into Melodyne's editor plugin window. So I'll activate transfer, rewind the playhead, solo the acoustic guitar, and press play like so. There. And when I press stop, you'll see that the audio is now being analyzed. And once that audio is analyzed, we'll be able to accurately export this file as MIDI data. Great. Now you can see that Melodyne analyzed it under the algorithm as a polyphonic performance, which it is. But what we're going to do now is convert it to melodic. This will make it more linear and note for note, and it's going to be a better accurate representation for the bass guitar performance, which we're hoping to achieve. Okay? As you can see now, by converting the algorithm to melodic, we now have one note performance at a time. That's perfect for what we want to do. Now, we'll come up to settings here in the plugin window and choose save as MIDI. All right? And we're going to literally give it a title, something easy to remember, and we'll probably call it uh, MIDI to bass like so, and just simply hit save. There. Now Melodyne has created a standard MIDI file accurately representing this audio that we transferred. Now keep in mind that before we save this audio as MIDI data, we can take advantage of Melodyne's editing tools here to help bring forth our intended performance. For example, if we wanted to do some pitch editing prior to our conversion, we can simply edit the pitch editing mode, uh, format tool, do some amplitude adjustments, even uh, affect the timing of our performance. Anything you do prior to MIDI conversion will be accurately converted along with that process. Okay, great. Now let's close this plugin window and now what we'll do is import that MIDI file into our regions bin. I'll come up to File, Import, and let's select MIDI. And here we have our MIDI to base. And just hit Open. And we'll throw it in our regions bin like so. And there we see the MIDI to base ready to go. Next, we'll create an instrument track with which to apply our MIDI bass line to. So come up to track and just choose new. And we'll make a mono instrument track like so. Very easy. And let's give that track a name. And uh, we'll call it MIDI bass. Great. Now let's just take that file, our MIDI bass file converted through Melodyne plugin and just drag it onto our instrument track. And there, we'll see that the audio has been accurately converted from the acoustic guitar track here now as MIDI information. 
All right. Let's have a better view of our work. And there we go. Now what we'll do is literally insert your favorite virtual instrument representing the new bass sound that you're looking for. And then begin editing these notes as necessary to create a bass performance to taste. I'll get started on that and let's check it out. Okay, now as you can see, I deleted and rearranged some of these new MIDI notes that we created from our conversion to create a bass guitar performance to taste. Let's take a listen. Let's solo the track and check it out. There. Let me switch it to regions so we can have a better look at that. Now remember, this MIDI track, this new bass track, is originally tr from the transfer of the Melodyne plugin here in Pro Tools that we used. Let's take a listen to the entire arrangement now with this new bass guitar included. Not bad. Now you can further go in and edit this or even print this to a new audio track if necessary, or just leave it like this and continue working with your mix. The whole idea here is to showcase the creative potential and possibilities using Melodyne's plugin window and audio to MIDI conversion for creating brand new instrument tracks, whether for just demo ideas or to actually use in your productions. So again, thank you for watching. My name is Carlo Libertini.